Who's your commander? Good luck. Equip. Move to combat. Resolves. Right now, before you attack, does anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Hello everyone, my name is DJ. This is the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel, and today I want to talk about the reprint set Time Spiral Remastered. It has a lot of cool stuff in it, so I want to take a look at the reprints that are being Number 10 on my list is Heartwood Storyteller. One green green for a 2-3 treefold. Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, each of that player's opponents may draw a card. In multiplayer, this gets nutty. One player casts a mana rock and then suddenly three other players are drawing cards. Honestly, this card is very group huggy because it just overwhelms the board with resources. Hopefully in green, you're better able to use those resources because you have the mana ramp to be able to support it and you're not really feeding cards into your opponent's hands because you're playing creature based spells. Overall, I think this is a really fun card that plays against spells and other sort of more powerful strategies. And the fact that it was sitting at $11 for so long meant that it was a okay card that was priced out of many people's decks. You know, $11 is a powerhouse card in many of your decks. So hopefully this gets super cheap and a lot more people will have access to this fun group hug mechanic. I'm going to throw in a few honorable mentions along the way. So this is not number nine, but this is an honorable mention for a really fun card that's narrow that should drop in price a lot. And that's Sliver Legion. If you play slivers and you want to turn them sideways, Sliver Legion is so much fun. There are a bunch of slivers out there that are way more powerful. Sliver Legion just makes them big. And that's so fun. And before having a card like this be over $100 was ludicrous. Uh, lowering the price of this card means that sliver, sliver players everywhere will be able to turn their cards sideways. Number nine on my list is Sudden Spoiling. One black black for an instant, it has split second. Split second means that people can't respond to this. So it's not like, oh, hold on, I have something to say about it. It's just like, no, this spell happens. Until end of turn, creatures target player control lose all abilities and have base power and toughness zero two. Uh, this works out as a fog in many situations, and that could be good enough, you know. Uh, fogs that are hard to interact with can be really good and change the tempo of a game, but not really commander staple. But the fact that this removes all base abilities means that you can prevent your opponent from going off or prevent them from doing something crazy because it's a lot of times the activated abilities or triggered abilities on these creatures that really make a game shift. And so being able to interrupt an opponent's very critical turn with no reaction whatsoever, just it happens, is very good. Uh, but again, a fog, uh, a conditional interrupt, it shouldn't be four or five dollars. So let's get this down so that a lot of different players can experience the fun of sudden spoiling. Number eight on my list is a Chroma's Memorial. Seven mana for a legendary artifact. Creatures you control have flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black, and protection from red. That's so many things. A lot of colors have access to these kinds of things in other ways, but sometimes you just want your whole team to have haste in green, and there you go. You know, or you want everything to have flying. I mean, protection from black and red, that could just hose certain decks. And this card, although very overcosted, was also overpriced. $30 or more for this? I'm super glad to see more copies of this, even if it's coming in at Mythic, because it is a fun, splashy, over the top effect that we need in Commander. Number seven, we have another artifact it's Coalition Relic. This is kind of a boring mana rock. Three mana fixes you, but it's the ability to put charge counters on this that makes it really good because what it does is it lets you invest a mana this turn to have extra ramp the following turn. And so the play pattern could go play this on three, charge it up on turn four, you have six mana. And so that little jump in mana can get you to bigger spells and commander is about bigger spells it's a big spell format and so being able to sort of put your mana on layaway until next turn is surprisingly powerful speaking of things on layaway let's put your spell on layaway with delay when a blue for an instant counter target spell if the spell's countered this way exile it with three time counters on it it gains suspend 
So you're gonna get your spell, uh, just not right now. <laughs> Listen, delay is not as powerful as traditional counterspell, but as you go down the counter hierarchy list, I think a lot of people are playing counter spells that are worse than delay. Uh, countering spells at as little mana as possible is really critical because a lot of times you're defending something that you're already doing. And if you tap out for something important, you know, or if you only have a couple mana up, that mystic confluence in your hand isn't gonna protect your new threat or your win condition, it's not gonna save you. Things like delay and counter spell, well, they might actually save you. One thing that I like about delay is that it does counter those counter spells, those removal spells, really, really nicely. Because a lot of times you just need the thing right now and you don't care what happens later. And counter spells, you know, when it comes off suspend, what are you gonna counter? You know, it's just gonna be a hard counter in that situation. I like the play of delay. I think it's actually a way more fun counter spell too. So hopefully if this gets really cheap, a lot of people will play with it and realize uh, that it actually has a very fun play pattern to it, and you might actually enjoy casting this more than traditional counter spells. Before we get to number four on my list, I want to give a shout out to this awesome art for Delay. I really like the look of it, even though the old one was looking pretty cool as well. But I wanted to give another sort of heads up to some good art, and that's from Miri the Cursed. You know, people are going to like the old Miri the Cursed because it's got that old magic feel to it. But when you look at this vampire cat, do you know it has flying? Because because I don't. Have I been hit by Miri the Cursed before because I forgot it had flying? Yes. So this Miri didn't get wings added to it, but just launching from the weatherlight is a really cool way of giving the image of flying without actually, like, I don't know, redesigning Miri. So... Great job for all of the art from this set. Like Miri, like Delay. Let's get on to number four. Coming in at number four, we have Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. This is a pretty pricey land. I mean, it was sitting above $30 and now it should be trending down a little bit. But the downside of this is so minimal if you're playing black at all, so almost every black deck should consider using it. Uh, it makes everything a swamp, and so if you have black heavy requirements, like just think if you're um, paying black mana for greed or pestilence or something like that, this could be really good. Uh, the only downside is that it gives everyone swamps, so that might be something that you want to consider, but I've found Urborg Term of Yawgmoth to be great. Excellent with Cabal Coffers, excellent with Swamp Walk, the Shieldred decks out there, and Angry Mob, of course. I also want to mention Teleria West, another amazing land in this set. Being able to transmute for a zero cast card is so good because this basically lets you search up any land that you want. And that's kind of why Expedition Map is in so many different decks too. That's a powerful commander card, so I feel like Teleria West should also fill that same role. It's just a little bit expensive. But Teleria West has another mode. It also searches up zero casting cost spells. Which brings me to the next card that I think is extremely powerful and belongs in this set, Pact of Negation. This is an amazing counterspell because it is free. Okay, counter spells are best when you can cast them whenever you need them. That's why I was stressing that delay costing two mana was could be better than like Mystic Confluence costing five, you know, or something along those lines. But Pact Navigation costing zero means that you always have access to it, which means that if you're going off and about to win the game, this is perfect protection. Or if your opponents are gonna win the game, this can save a game. And so Pact of Negation works in situations that nothing else can, and that makes it a really unique and really powerful card. In fact, Pact of Negation is the most powerful in powerful decks and playing against other powerful decks. If I bust out some of my low power decks, honestly, it doesn't really matter what you're countering because my six drop has other six drops in the deck. Like I'm not playing these expropriate tile style spells that'll win the game in a single card that you must defend against. Instead, I'm playing awesome fun value mid-range and a Pact of Negation just hits another one of my many threats. But in the end, Pact of Negation does something that other counter spells don't and the flexibility of being free is insane. 
All right, before we get to my top two, I wanna talk about another honorable mention, and these are other free spells. The spell shapers are in this set. This is Jaya, and I love the spell shaper mechanic where you pay something, discard a card, and in this case, destroy target blue permanent. Wow, <laughs> just destroy a blue permanent? There's a lot of blue just at commander tables everywhere. I think Jaya Ballard is insane at being able to turn every spare land or random card you have into a blue vindicate. It's awesome. Uh, but also I want to give a good shout out to dreamscape artist, which lets you pay three and tap, discard a card, sacrifice a land to search up to two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield. That is great. It's like a Haro in blue on a creature that's repeatable. This is amazing. Like you just keep mana ramping whenever you have time, you throw away a card you don't need and bam, it's a ramp spell. This is awesome. I also love that these lands enter the battlefield untapped, you know, so you're not losing out as much as you might think uh, when it comes to ramping with Dreamscape Artist. So look at Spell Shapers. They are great and so much fun. And if you love card advantage, you're gonna love being able to recur these effects over and over and over again. All right, let's talk about the top two cards from Time Spiral Remastered. Karavek the Merciless. Five black red for a legendary 5-4 human shaman. And whenever an opponent casts a spell, Karavek the Merciless deals damage to any target equal to that spell's converted mana cost. This is a pumped up vile smasher. Just anyone casts anything and you're just like, deal damage, deal damage, deal damage. You can deal it to people's faces. Like someone can cast a dig through time and you can punish them for it. Or you can just start aiming every single spell at the, the person that's winning the game, the arch enemy. I love the ability to pick off certain creatures too. The politics involved with Kravik on the battlefield is great. I like to play Kravik and have my opponents choose where the damage goes. Oh, you wanna cast a spell? Sure, go for it. You can even pick where the damage goes if I agree with it, of course. Uh, this is such a fun card to play with. You should definitely give it a try. Oh man, it was expensive. It was over 10 bucks for this card. And now hopefully the price will go down because it's still a seven drop in Rakdos, you know? This is not a card that's gonna take over Commander. It's a card that's fun and dynamic and political. Let's get more copies out there and play it. All right, my top card from Time Spiral Mastered is Reiterate. Reiterate is crazy. One red red for an instant with buyback three. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So this is Fork for one additional generic mana. Um, that upcharge is fine because fork is really expensive. Okay. But the buyback three means that reiterate goes crazy. If you have enough mana, you can just copy and copy and copy and copy. In fact, you can even start copying mana producing abilities or mana producing spells and then suddenly chain reiterate into infinite combos. There are a ton of infinite combos that circulate around Reiterate. It is flexible because you can sort of steal your opponent's spell. You can counter back if your opponent tries to counter a relevant spell of yours. This is a combo piece as well. And I love it in Commander because it's just as good as your opponent's deck if that's what you're aiming at. You know, your opponents are playing extra turn effects, fine, reiterate, you know. You're playing that powerful card, I get that powerful card too. You're playing Demonic Tutor, I'll take that as well, okay. I love that dynamic of being able to play off of your opponent's decks because it really levels the playing field a little bit. But the thing was that this didn't level the playing field sitting at $14. So this reprint comes desperately. Let's get this price down so that everyone can have copies of Reiterate because it's super fun to play with, combo-tastic, and my pick for the number one reprint in Time Spiral Remastered. Now, do you know what cards I didn't review is all of these old bordered cards that are amazing reprints. Many of them are great for Commander. And so in a follow-up video, I'm gonna be looking at these and finding out what amazing reprints are getting even better art treatments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, Cool Stuff Inc. They're the sponsor of the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. Use the coupon code JUMBO5 to save 5% off your order. Please let me know down in the comments down below what top 10 card did I miss out on? I know that there's a few that you're gonna be screaming about, so scream in the comments down below. 
Thanks so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons. I'll see you all really soon. Bye-bye.